try to prevent them. Medical errors happen. According to one study, they are the number one killer of all autism The long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. Ugh, come on, please! Damn lock! May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Ah, oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? <sighs> a keycard issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No. Mr. Page always stays late, and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me.
All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Things to throw away. I regularly clean my workspace. I don't like to be distracted by anything. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's... the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team, as the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh, from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Find out. We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers.
Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? We found evidence that you may have been at the crime scene. <laughs> what a surprise. Evidence found by OCP, perhaps? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny arm. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I have a prescription for them. I can I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Being restrained is exciting only for those who are truly free. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills's campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills's campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. Hard.
Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we can push it. The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Maybe we can open find something sesame. there. Oh, sure. Keep reminding me of the Just delicious sesame sprinkled burger That's buns the problem. we have. Agatha Crane? You are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. Already grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. Maybe you're more. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. 
She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No, but after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I am glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? 
Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? But an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Gosh, it. she's not alone. Robo oh! need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. It is spreading quickly. We need to move fast. to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is getting awfully hot.
The sprinklers aren't working. Dying out. Here's someone's footsteps upstairs. I will make a way. My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Say from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. 